Google announced the August Google Play system update two weeks ago. And since then, people within the Android community have been trying to manually check and see if they'll be able to install it. Sadly, some people noticed that this was no longer possible and it led people to believe that the feature was being discontinued entirely. Thankfully, this isn't the case, and this issue seems to be a bug within a version of the Google Play Store application. So you can see right now I have version 31.9.13-2 of the Google Play Store. And it was recently discovered that if we manually updated the application to a newer version, specifically version 31.9.20 or 32.0.20 or newer, then the feature was back and that we are now able to install the latest version of the Google Play system update. Now I recently showed you how to manually check for a new version of the Google Play Store in a previous video. So I'll link to that tutorial in the video description below. But using this option to update the Google Play Store may not be working for everyone. And since it takes a while for Google to finish rolling out new application updates like this, if this method is not working for you right now, I can show you how to sideload the latest update manually. Sideloading a newer version of the Google Play Store requires us to download that newer version from the web. And this can be done via websites like APK Mirror. So I'll be linking to this page in the video description as well. And once downloaded, the application needs to be installed with a special application because it is a split APK. And as you can see, it is bundled with many other versions of the app. So we're going to be using the split APK installer application which I'll be linking to in the video description as well, to manually update the Google Play Store application. So once we open up the split APK installer, we're going to tap the install APK. And we're going to find that version of the app that we just downloaded. Once selected, tap the blue select button down there at the bottom. And now we have the ability to customize the installation, but we're gonna leave all of this set to default and simply tap the install button. As long as everything goes okay, the split APK installer will tell you that the application has been installed. And just like before, we can go in and check this version to make sure that we are on the version that we actually wanted to install, which in this case was 32.0.20. And now that you have updated the Google Play Store to a newer version, you can manually check for that new Google Play system update like you normally would. If you're not familiar with how to manually do that, I've made a dedicated video for this as well, which naturally I'll be linking down in the video description below. As of right now, Google has yet to finish rolling out the August update, but this is said to be completed over the next week or two. So if the update is available for your device, you're going to see a restart prompt like you just saw from me. 
but as mentioned, that's not going to be available for everyone immediately. Once the update has been made available for your device, you're going to be able to update it just like I did here, all thanks to the fixed version of the Google Play Store application. So if you have noticed that you are no longer able to manually check for the latest Google Play system update, it may be from you being on a bugged version of the Google Play Store application. And hopefully this video helps you to resolve that bug.